For this front roof, there's a few different ways um, we can do this. Um, right now, the way the roof is drawn, when you join them, you kind of have a, a double valley here, which is flat, which is not good for our climate um, here in uh, Michigan and in, uh, in especially when you get northern um, in places like Canada. Um, so to fix that, first thing I'd recommend doing is we're going to edit the roof. And this roof was drawn, drawn with the slope line, so we're going to delete those and we're going to put um, make each line, the, the front three lines, um, defined as slopes. And like the other roof, we're going to make this a six. And then the other thing we're going to do, well, I okay, guess so first let's, let's see what this looks like. So that's what the roof looks like. Um, you will notice that there's something weird happening here. And I believe that's because this slope, yeah. So this is six, uh, we're just gonna copy this number here. And we're gonna edit, and we're gonna change these three to be that same number. Now we have, the roof is just a little bit higher, so I'm just gonna open up one of the elevations here. Uh, we want a north elevation. So we're just going to grab this one on the other side and just drop it down. So now when we look at the 3D, it looks like it's joined there. And so really what we want this to do is come back into here. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, the way I usually take is to overextend this roof. And then now we can actually see the, the intersection. Um, when you go into the roof plane after... Um, and if you're not seeing, if your roof looks like this, um, you don't see that join mark, right? So when you actually join it, you'll now see the valley line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the architecture tab, and we're going to go over here to reference plane. And I'm going to draw a reference plane in these valleys here, or this valley here, and then just going to extend it a little bit on both sides so we can see it. And then we're just going to mirror this, this val valley line to the other side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this back line here and we're going to pick these lines. And use the fillet command to just finish it off. And then these two lines we want to make sure we turn off divine slope. And now when you look at it in 3D, you have this effect, but the roof is also not extending any farther into the building. Um, using reference lines are very helpful to figure out things that are going on in your roof. And as you can see in this model already, the user has used the reference lines to find various elements in the project to line things up or find edges, um, so it's such a great tool to work with.